everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Today I'm sharing cards that do two things. Number one, use patterned paper. Number two, use die cuts. And number three, use more of a masculine color palette, if you will. But the first card I'm gonna share was pretty cute. The second card that I'm gonna share was actually a little better. So I wanna talk about design decisions and how they affect a card, taking it from good to fantastic. So stick around. Those card projects are coming up next. The second one is really good. So let's take a look at the two cards I'll be creating today. The first one is my dude birthday card and it's, it's good. It's good. I don't not love this. That said, the second card that I created, it's just better. And I think sometimes when we are creating cards, we don't see the forest for the leaves. Oh, I, I, just, I just made that up. We'll talk more as we get into the project, but first, let's take a look at the supplies. So my basic supplies are these fall leaves dies from Waffle Flower Crafts and this paper pad from Lawn Fawn. I really felt inspired to create a more masculine themed card, and I do get asked from people on YouTube. Kathy, got some ideas for masculine cards or more ideas for pattern paper? So this, my friends, this is for you. But this pad is super cute and these leaf dies are amazing. I absolutely love them. And I also grabbed this dude die. It's something I created for Simon Says Stamp quite a while ago, a few years. Dude in a script. It's perfect for the dudes in your life. So those are the basic supplies that I'm going to use, but you'll kind of see how I adapt and change as we go. I will be using pre-printed sentiment strips, however, for the sentiment because I love them. They're easy peasy and breezy. So I've got a piece of Nina Solar White Classic Crest cardstock in the 110 pound weight, and I'm just gonna start cutting out a bunch of leaves. I'm gonna be using my Gemini Junior. This is a new machine for me and uh, I love it. It's making die cutting quite easy. And in fact, I'll put a little card up in the upper right corner if you wanna check out my, my riveting unboxing video. But I have really enjoyed this machine so far. So I will go ahead and cut those off camera and cut a bunch. My plan is to glue them all together for some nice dimension on my card. I'm also going to use the shadow layers to cut out some shadows from this Lawn Fawn pad. So what I decided to do was just start flipping through, holding up a leaf and trying to decide which pattern paper provided the best contrast. Now in the end, I ended up keeping it very simple because some definitely are gonna show up more than others. So these are the papers that I chose for die cutting. I kept it very simple, right? and I know the leaves are going to look great. I'm going to use Elmer's spray adhesive to glue everything together, and I like to spray this off camera just into a cardboard box. I don't like to do it on camera because I'm always afraid that the, the fumes are gonna come up and coat my iPhone camera lens. <laughs> I film with an iPhone, so better to be safe than sorry. But that adhesive works so well for creating a really strong bond when gluing die cuts together. So I will do that for all of these and then glue the stacked die cuts onto the base for this cool graphic look. Ah, I love it. I think this is so much fun. I love using white cardstock for stuff like this. Isn't that fun? I love it. And I will do that for all the leaves until I have three. Cute, huh? Very simple pattern paper, but I love that look. I also went ahead and cut out three dudes and I cut out a shadow layer as well from some of the Lawn Fawn paper. I liked it, but I, I put that aside. Let's start prepping this card. So the card base is from Craft Card Stock, and this will fold down to be a USA 2, which is four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half inches tall. On the left, you're gonna see this panel that I cut out using a die from Waffle Flower. I decided to let that germinate while I cut out my sentiment strip. Just gonna use happy birthday, keep it simple. And when you cut these out, you'll notice they have a white core because they're printed on white cardstock. So I always grab a pen. This is just a Copic marker in T10. 
and I color in the sides so that it gives that black cardstock impression. The panel background that you see, I had cut out two and glued them together because I thought this would give sort of a cool tone-on-tone -tone dimensional texture, which it does. But for some reason, it was throwing me off as I was laying things out and I wasn't sure how I was going to use it. And so, sometimes when you're making a card, you pivot. I set that aside for another project and decided to cut out a different panel, something a little less obtrusive, if you will. And once I had this little panel with the texture cut out, I thought, I like this better. So I created an arrangement. I used liquid adhesive to add all of my die cut elements. And again, that dude is actually stacked as well. So they all sort of have the same dimension. I just wiped away the extra glue, popped up my happy birthday, and then used liquid glue to position the leaves around the panel. And I knew I wanted to have the lower leaf hang off a bit. I wanted it to create this right to the edge bleed effect. So I grabbed my paper trimmer and I just flipped this over, popped it in and went to cut. And I'm not sure if I just didn't press hard enough, but when I flipped it over, it tore a bit of the pattern paper. Maybe I should have had it facing up, but I don't think so. Never fear. I just grabbed the closest brown marker to that paper. I think this is E47. I just colored it in. I mean, nobody's going to look at this when they get it and be like, dude, what's up with the bottom leaf? You know, I mean, if they are, maybe rethink sending cards to those people. That said, popping this down, and I liked it. I liked it. I think it was a little off. The things I love are the texture and the contrast and the craft cardstock. Like, I think there's a lot of good ideas here. But I think it was just a little, a little off. So I made a second card. This one I decided to go, same, same tools, same supplies, white card base, but three leaves in the center. Instantly, I heard angels singing in the background. Now here's the thing. Sometimes we have our go-tos when we are designing cards. And for me, a lot of it is very symmetrical, center-weighted design. This is not boring. This is something that creates a really visually pleasing design. Almost every time, every time I stick with the basic center weighted design, I feel like my cards look great. And part of the reason why is they feel very comforting. Center weighted and symmetrical design feels very stable. And that is what this card has more than the first card. I added just a little bit of liquid adhesive all over the back of the strip just so it would make contact wherever I placed it. And that, that my friends, that is just a stronger design. Now I know some of you enjoy more of the unexpected asymmetry of the first card. I think they're both great and, but I hope you can see how the second card just is a little bit stronger. Just a little. And there they are side by side. Although you might have a preference. You might say, no, Kath, dude, no, the dude is better. So why don't you tell me in the comments below which card you like better? I'm curious to know. Anyway, those are the finished cards. I really love how they turned out. Yes, they have possibly a more masculine bent to them because of the neutral colors, but it's another way to take pattern paper, combine it with some die cutting in white cardstock only, and build cards on basically whatever theme you like. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.